the 28th Sunday after Pentecost, Year A. From the First Epistle to the Thessalonians. God has destined us, not for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. In the name of that same Jesus Christ, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever and ever. Our readings for this week pick up where last week's left off, at that moment when we find ourselves ill-equipped for the task to which we hear God calling us. Having experienced more than enough of contempt, the third slave in our gospel reading resolves not to be caught short-handed. This slave becomes so afraid of his master's harshness that he goes and hides his talent in the ground rather than take the risk of trying to make something out of it. How often are we ourselves so afraid of doing something wrong or not being able to do enough that we end up doing nothing at all? Our experience of the world teaches us to expect cruelty and oppression. Like Barak in our reading from the book of Judges, we are afraid to trust the message, even though the Lord has promised us mercy, because we see the enemy's 900 chariots of iron. Paul exhorts the Thessalonians to be instead like the second slave, the one who, instead of getting wrapped up in anxiety and resentment about what he doesn't have, goes ahead and wisely invests what he does have. Paul reminds the Thessalonians that though the day of the Lord will come without warning, we children of the day can prepare ourselves for that judgment by putting on the armor of faith, hope, and love. That way, even if we do become drowsy and fall asleep as night comes, we're dressed and rested and ready for action when the call to action hits our ears. We get that armor from the scripture's account of God's faithful dealings with his people, God's words of guidance, and God's promises to all of us. Sometimes God's word just fits. Sometimes we have not simply to read it, but also to mark, learn, and inwardly digest it before we can understand how it fits the circumstances of our lives. Let us take all of it for our learning, so that when the day of judgment comes, we will have used our talents to do our part. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.